Hi, I'm Noah Haddad, and since our other anchors on DSOA Today have been doing some fun name puns, we decided to give it a try. So I guess I'm Noah Haddad because I'm adopted. And I'm Calm Curran. Welcome to DSOA Today. Well, Callum, have you heard the big news? Yeah, Noah, I think everybody knows that the Queen is dead. No, silly. Coach Vaughn is selling meat sticks outside of the gym during lunch for only $1.50. Make sure you give them a try. Well, I, for one, don't want to miss an opportunity to buy some meat sticks. Dreyfus, for today's show, we have information on upcoming school events, a piece on our jazz ensemble, a Harry Details ad, and Picture Day information. Speaking of Picture Day, if you have an English class today, you will be heading down to take your photos. Students who don't have an English class must report to the lobby of Meyer Hall during your dual enrollment or privileged class period. Well, Callum, I don't think you have anything to worry about for your picture. <laughs> you always look good. Attention all visual and digital media students. This Friday, September 6th, well, you will be attending the Know Your Rights Artist Edition during 4th and 6th period in Meyer Hall. After the bell rings ending lunch, report straight to your 4th period classes so your teachers can take attendance. There will be an announcement dismissing you to Meyer Hall, and this presentation will not end until sometime during 6th period. Hey, you like jazz? Well, here's a little bit of our very own jazz ensemble. I'm Eric Levine here with DSOA Today. This is Mr. DeLeon, and uh, Mr. DeLeon, could you just tell us about who you are and what you do? Yeah, I'm one of the music teachers in the music department. Um, what I oversee is essentially I teach three jazz ensemble classes and I teach two music theory classes. Here today we were filming the JE1 Jazz Band. Can you tell us just a bit about what that is and how much work goes into that for the students? And Absolutely. Um, JE1 is the top uh, performing jazz ensemble in the school. Um, everybody auditions to get into there. Um, and it's usually filled with mainly upperclassmen, a few lowerclassmen, and they're the highest performing improvisers, jazz musicians that we have in the school. Aside from actually directing while they're playing, what does your role entail? Well, it's um, a little bit of progressing them as well, jazz musicians, not just an ensemble. So you're picking music that they can um, advance in, and they can get exposed to the jazz history, they can get exposed to different musical styles. We play everything from Afro-Cuban music to funk music, as well as swing that ranges from like the 1930s all the way to now. So it's a, a pretty detailed process to try to give them a big overview of the styles within the jazz umbrella. Here with Pablo Weir. He's one of the JE1 bassists. Yes, sir. All right, and Pablo, so just tell me a bit about what you do on JE1 and uh, why jazz. When I was a little kid, I started on classical upright bass. Um, and at first I really hated jazz because you have to play with your fingers and my fingers would bleed and become all raw and stuff. Um, but I thought it was really fun because in classical it's all like, it's not a lot of expression, you kind of just follow the music as is. But in jazz there's a lot of improvisation, videos you can watch, things you can read, stuff you can learn that will like level up your playing by a ton. Um, and there's a ton of cool techniques you can learn as well. Um, and it's just really fun to play with people. So we have our first concert September 21st in Meyer Hall. Um, all three jazz ensembles will be featured in that. It's free for all music students, um, and it's a $15 admission fee for any DS DSOA uh, student that's not in the music department. Come on out, dance with us, have a great time. All right, sounds like fun. Well, thank cool. you for being on the show, Absolutely. and uh, come here, day one. Absolutely. Wow, that package was pretty cool. But you know what's cooler? Dreyfus's annual yearbook. That's right, the 2023 yearbook is on sale now. Buy your Dreyfus award-winning and nationally recognized yearbook now at a special back-to-school price at yearbookforever.com. In addition, students can purchase a dedication ad to honor their achievements throughout high school. Buy yours at yearbookforever.com. Today is the day, Dreyfus. The Dreyfus School of the Arts Foundation is opening their scholarship applications today. Students can access a lift of scholarships foundations on the website sofi.org. The foundation scholarships offer seniors opportunities to earn scholarships toward their college tuition, books, room and board. And for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, you can apply for the Summer Institute scholarships that are available this summer. Oh my god, guys. Here is a very special super duper ad for the Harry Details Improv Show.
Enjoy. Attention, new and returning members of the Latin Hispanic Heritage Club. Your first club meeting is today during lunch in Ms. Lopez's room 3207. There will be information about the upcoming events and activities, so it's a meeting you won't want to miss. Also, today we have both a boys and girls golf game at the Palm Beach Natural Country Club from 3.30 to 6. Come out and support our golfers. This past Sunday marks the 21st memorial of 9-11. Every year on this day, Palm Beach County Fire Rescue holds their 9-11 ceremony that commemorates this tragedy with stories and speeches. This year, they invited two of our very own Dreyfus students to speak at the ceremony. Congratulations to communication majors Kate Wagner for your speech and Eddie Kulmner for your slam poem. They both received a standing ovation. Congratulations to you both. Excuse me, may I please have your attention? The Visual Arts Digital Media Fall Art Show will be today after school from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Artwork from all students will be featured in Building 9. The exhibition is free and open to all students and their friends and family. So come out and support our visual and digital arts students. If you couldn't access the interest form or missed us at Club Rush, you can still join the DSOA Aerospace and Rocketry Club by scanning the QR code shown on screen now and filling out the quick interest form that goes with it. You can show up for today's meeting held in Mr. Freeman's room, room 2205. SECME will have its first meeting on Monday, September 19th, in Mrs. Hill's room, 4206. If you are interested in writing essays, painting banners, or building mousetrap cars, bottle rockets, bridges, or generators, then SECME is the organization for you. Come to the meeting. New and former members are welcome. That's all we have for you today, Dreyfus. Remember to follow us on Instagram and TikTok, at DSOA Today, for behind-the-scenes coverage, bloopers, and extras. Well, thanks so much to Callum for anchoring with me today. And remember guys, the magic always finds a way. We'll see you at Class Changes and Lunches 